Hello, this is Robert Planet, the owner of Brutal Iron Gym. In this video, I want to show you how to use a floss band to work on some tightness issues you might be having in your bicep and upper forearm. So what you'll do is you want to extend the band a little bit, get a little tail that started. You'll then place your forearm over top of this. You'll bring the tail up and on your arm. Then you overlap it, and then when the rubber kind of meets each uh, itself, uh, it'll get a better bite, and that way you can start the motion and it'll hold itself for you. So I go ahead and start pulling on it, and you want to wrap it about what would be considered about 50% of the tension, which means if I can actually stretch this band 4 inches, I'm only going to stretch it about 2 inches. So I want to start about 2 or 3 wrap distance underneath the crease of the elbow. When I work my way up to uh, the elbow, I'm going to go ahead and cross over on the outside into the upper arm. So you'll see I have a little bit of a gap there. So and as you're wrapping, you want to wrap about a 50% overlap from the previous wrap. So the band will pass over 50% of the past wrap, and that will get you a nice tightness. So once I have two to three wraps underneath the elbow, and then I have two to three wraps above the elbow, I'll go ahead and kind of just push the remaining part of the band underneath the previous wrap. And what that will do for me is it secures the band in place, and that way it won't unravel. So once I have this tightness, I'm going to go ahead and do uh, wrist circles. I'm going to do about 10 circles in one direction, kind of nice and slow. And you'll feel some stuff kind of clicking and moving around in there. We want to do 10 circles in the other direction as well. So once I've done that, I want to do some bicep flexions. So I'm just going to squeeze my bicep. And I'll do about 10 of those curls. Then I want to go ahead and do tricep extensions. So I'm going to press down and kind of flex the tricep. And again, do that for about 10 times. And then from there, I'll go ahead and do arm circles. So and what this does is there's any tight connectors up into the shoulder, this will actually loosen that up. And again, we do about 10 in each direction. Once I have that done, that might be enough for most people. However, if you feel like after you unwrap that there's still some tight spots, we can use some compression therapy to alleviate those spots. So I have here is a plate loadable kind of a compression device. Uh, however, you can use the end of a barbell if you don't have one of these. So what this allows me is if it's, uh, I can adjust the weight basically. I can make it heavier or lighter depending on uh, what I need or who, who I'm working with. So what I would do is I would go ahead and kind of put the arm down on a hard surface. I'll then pick up the device. I want to go ahead and apply some weight onto my forearm. I'll go ahead and roll through the forearm and I can go underhand to get the bottom of the forearm area. So then I can also roll my hand over and get the top of the forearm. And again, if you feel any tight spots, you just kind of go back and forth over that area just to kind of work those loose. You can also add in movement, so when you're in a tight spot, so if you find a spot that kind of is a little sensitive and sore, just add some movements and that will help work it loose. So once you're in the forearm, you can roll up into the bicep and do the same thing. I can do some bicep curls to help alleviate some pain. I can catch the outside of my bicep, the forearm over, overlap, and that will actually be a pretty sensitive area for most people. And again, you would do some extensions just to kind of create some movement there. So that's how we can use floss bands plus some compression therapy to alleviate any pressure or pain in the uh, elbow or upper forearm. Good. Thank you.